Well, hey, friends, are you guys sick and tired of paying for, like, DirecTV and Dish? Um, you know, we, we've had DirecTV for, God, two years now, and I, I've become very disappointed in them. It seems like they just keep wanting to drop channels, and they get in conflicts with... Uh, uh, conflicts with uh, Disney. So I got kind of fed up with dealing with them. The value's not there anymore. So I decided to reach out and do a bunch of research. And I found these antennas. It got five-star ratings. I bought two of them for one for each TV in the house. So let's open it up and just see what we get. And I'm going to tell you all about these. These... Uh, I can figure out how to get in the box. You guys know I always seem to have problems getting in the box. All right. So, by the way, this is a uh, 4K Full HD indoor-outdoor. All right. Comes with a zip tie, so that's good. We might need that. It all comes in a bag. Here. Let me do that. Oh, two zip ties. Let me just put that over there. Here, so we know what, what we're looking at, okay? So let me do that. All right, so now, bag. Okay, some sticky um, paper, sticky paper. The instructions, but who needs the instructions? We don't need the instructions. A little bag of nails. All right, and one of the reasons I kind of like this and I wanted to buy this because I want to be able to mount it on my wall and I want to mount it close to the TV because I don't want to run it outside and have much cables everywhere. But I thought the slim profile that I could simply just put a couple of really lightweight nails in the wall and it would hold uh, next to the TV in the bedroom. And I'm going to show how to hook all of this up. And then uh, what I'm going to do also is show you how to set it up in your TV. So stay with me for the video. But let's continue with what we get here. And let's look at some instructions. So obviously to me, you can use the nails here. It looks like this sticky stuff would go probably here. And or you can use uh, your zip ties if you got something that you want to put it around. So that's kind of what it looks like to me. Well, let's look at the instructions, okay? So we got a user manual. We got the antenna and the cable stuff here. We got the sticky pads, the nails. So we got everything that was in the box. So the frequency range is here. So here's your ranges. I have no clue what this means, to be honest. I don't know what this means either. I know when I researched this one, it said that it could do up to a thousand miles unobstructed. Eh, you know, I doubt that. So you got a uh, female or customized adapter, connectors, power supply. Here it is. Your power supply is going to be through your USB port. Polarization, vertical or vertical. So I think you can put it like this or this. It doesn't really matter. Or you could probably lay it down. I don't think it really matters. And that's what I was looking for one. One that didn't ha you didn't have to worry about the direction of it. Now, I do know that we got to be careful about blocking the range. So here's our antenna, the back of the TV. Maybe I'll show you a picture of the back of the TV and how exactly where these go. So what we have here is the old-fashioned cable, right? You have the USB, which is going to be your uh, power source. You have, I think what they call this is like a a signal booster and power supply. So please connect. You can see here, here, all right. So real simple. Ah, here's the showing how you can mount it. Bang these big old nails into your wall. Or maybe you can do them in concrete. Maybe they're concrete nails. And then you can either uh, mount them like that or tape it or do whatever you want to do. But I'm going to show you how to set this up in our TV. And we're going to compare uh, the little basic antenna that I bought at Walmart for like $10 compared to this one. This one run uh, $55. So I've done the $10 uh, antenna in the bedroom and no bueno, no good. OK, 
okay? So let's uh, work on this one. Stay with me. We're going to see how this really works, guys. All right, friends. So in our effort to compare these two, this is the, the cheap little antenna that we got at Walmart. I think it's like 10 bucks or so. And so we're going to try this out first. We're going to get the TV to come in here and search for my local channels. Now, this is a smart TV, so it comes preloaded with a whole bunch of other stuff like LG channels. So there's a couple hundred of those if you have internet that you can get on your TV if it's a smart TV. But what I'm really looking for is if I can get my local channels. So we're going to try the one that I have hooked up first. This is the little cheap $10 one. So here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into settings. I hit my setting button. I'm going over here to all settings. So now that we're in all settings, we're going to look for general. I'm going to click on that. I'm coming down here to look for channels. I click on my channels. I go up to tuning channels. So that's going to tell the antenna and the TV to get out there and search. So we're going to click auto tuning to let it do it for us. So it's going to show that you got to have an antenna and I have one. So here we go, it's starting to search for it. And what I am looking for is the antenna DTV channels and the antenna TV. How many of those do I get? Because those are truly based off of the antenna, not the internet. So right here it is said that in the antenna DTV it's found nine channels. Antenna TV it found zero. So now it is automatically searching the smart TV for other things that are built in. Like LG channels or Samsung channels if you have a Samsung smart TV. As long as you got internet, you got a bunch of channels, uh, they're, they're not going to be really up to date. It's going to be a bunch of old stuff, but there is plenty of TV to watch on like LG channels or Samsung channels, stuff like that. And there's always a bunch of free apps that you can uh, also have on your smart TV that all you need is the internet. All right, so it's done. And you can see there it says LG channels. It found 297 of those because they're already built in. And Antenna DTV is what I'm interested in right here. That's what I want to see because these are going to be local channels for my local news and sports and programming like Fox, NBC, stuff like that. So we're going to click Done. And we're going to see how these are. So here's 29, channel 29, one of our local channels. It's kind of pixelating because the single is a little weak here. Let's see if I what other channels I have. 29.2. Me TV Arkansas 29.3. It's coming through okay, but it is pixelated. Signal's a little weak. Same thing with Ion. Home Shopping Network. You can always get that. Same thing. Judge Judy, 51, channel 51. That's nice and clear. So that's a good one, right? Last Man Standing, 52. I mean, 51.2. Nice. Home Improvement's coming through. So the 51s are coming through pretty good. So let's remember that. Now this is going to be your, your LG channels. IP100s. These are LG channels. So that doesn't really help me what I'm looking for. So let's swap out the other antennae and see what we do for a comparison. 
Alright, so I have the new antenna hooked up and I got it located in the exact same place. So let me get over to my settings. Go to general. Remember we're going to channels. Auto tuning. Yep, I got the antenna hooked up and now we're going to see if this one does better. And remember what we're looking for is more than five channels here and here under the antennas. So let's see what happens. Alright, so it looks like we have already found 16 channels versus 5 channels and right now it's running the internet uh, the TV channels and I don't expect that to change alright so it does look like we got 16 channels versus 5 so let's see if they're any better quality oh we got Jeopardy so that definitely looks much better than the cheap $10 antenna so, so far, the antenna that cost me 60 bucks is much better quality. It's bringing in the image clearly versus being pixelated. So, we got 5.3, 5.4, 5.5, 5.6, 5.7, 5.8, 5.9, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5.18, 5.19, 5.20, 5.21, 5.22